What's up guys, Cash back again, and it looks like we'll finally get a chance to get info about the future plans for Marvel's Avengers under the new leadership of Embracer Group this week, and this is something many of us have been waiting to see, and if you're new, I'll break down why this is exciting, so let's jump into it. So back in May, it was announced that the Embracer Group entered into an agreement with Square Enix to acquire development studios Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal, and Square Enix Montreal, as well as a catalog of IPs like Tomb Raider, Deus Ex, Legacy of Kain, and a ton of other back catalog games from Square Enix for a ridiculously cheap $300 million, with the deal expected to be finalized in the second quarter of Embracer's financial year for 2022, which wraps up in September. The day that the deal was announced, Embracer Group also held a live stream to field questions about the deal, and the topic of Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy came up, and this is what they had to say. But I'll start with a few uh, questions uh, from me, and uh, starting with some questions for for Lars, uh, just to to uh, uh, get, get them done, I have to ask. Uh, first of all, uh, just want to ask about the the, the two recently released uh, Marvel licensed games, uh, Marvel's Avengers and Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, are they included in the transaction? I assume not. Well, yes, all games that has been developed by the studios um, uh, are included in the transaction. However, a number of uh, external appro approvals are needed from external parties in order to close this transaction. And potentially, uh, licensors, as you mentioned here, could be um, one of those approvals needed. Okay, and, and just to understand that uh, correctly, uh, if if that would be approved, I mean, is that the base case that it is approved and that they are part of the deal and that you can develop games based on these uh, IPs ahead? I don't expect any uh, notable uh, commercial agreement uh, relating to the studios or this transaction to be declined by either regulatory parties or uh, business partners. However, that remains to be seen, uh, obviously. Uh, I think your question was relating to the two existing games and whether uh, they will be still operated and, and, and built upon and changed from the existing uh, plans today uh, going forward. And um, I think that is the color I can give you on this, uh, Oscar. So in this Q&A, we learned that Avengers and Guardians were also acquired in the deal and that in order for development to continue under the Embracer Group, a new licensing agreement with Marvel Games will have to be reached because the original agreement was made with Square Enix and because of legal reasons, that licensing agreement isn't able to simply change hands. And although he stated that he didn't foresee any complications with securing a new licensing agreement for the Marvel titles, we won't know definitively until the deal is finalized. So now now that Embracer Group's first quarter of their financial year has ended, they'll be offering another live Q&A this upcoming Thursday that will offer more insight into the company's plans for the future, and myself and others have taken the opportunity to ask questions we all want answered, and hopefully we'll get promising news about the future of Marvel's Avengers. We know the development team has been basically operating as if the deal is secured, and a future for the game has been guaranteed behind the scenes based on the fact that they now have the resources to bring on new teams members, which is something they clearly weren't doing prior to the deal's announcement, and the lead developer has been very vocal about planning out the game's long-term future for content, which I know sounds far-fetched while we're waiting for news on the next patch update, but I don't have any doubt that they have new content in the pipeline, as well as plans for content beyond this year, but until an official licensing agreement with Marvel Games is reached, and hopefully announced, it's still unclear if the future is officially brighter now that Avengers will no longer be published by Square. 
Square Enix. But we'll hopefully learn more this Thursday, so be on the lookout for that news. And as always, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you expect we'll get definitive answers about the future of the game in this Q&A, or do you think until the deal is finalized in September, there won't be much they can share? Let me know down below and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content every week. And if you're interested in picking up Avengers merch, shop with Fandomian and make sure to use my code in the description to get an additional 10% off. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.